prepare for trouble and make it double. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within our nation, to denounce the evils of truth and love, to extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse, James, Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Team Rocket, no doubt, is one of the well-known villainous groups in history. This traditional organization was created with the objective of controlling the Pokemon world. They're well known for causing havoc in almost every metropolis and carrying out their nefarious schemes under the radar. The iconic trio of Jesse, James, and a talking Meowth who are continuously chasing Ash and his friends with the purpose of snatching his Pikachu are among its most well-known members. Today, we're going to be unveiling some facts about this trio. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Meowth is a free Pokemon. Meowth may appear to be a member of Team Rocket, but he is actually a free agent. He's never been caught in a Pokeball, so he's free to come and go whenever he wants. That's quite touching, since it implies that he chooses to be with Jesse and James because he loves them. Number 9. About Jesse and James' Parents Surprisingly, both characters have a long family history. James hails from a wealthy family, which he avoids at all costs because he is afraid of the arranged marriage his family wishes to force him into. Jesse, on the other hand, is a natural Team Rocket member. Madam Boss used to employ her mother, Miyamoto, and she was the first person to see Mew. Before she went missing, one of her tasks was to find the legendary Pokémon. Number 8. James has hardly battled the Pokémon he has captured. To capture a Pokémon, you usually have to fight it for a long time. James appears to be exempt from this rule. While he's caught a lot of Pokémon, he's only had to fight one of them, Victory Bell. Is this why Victory Bell tries to eat him so often? Who knows? Number 7. They ended a Pokemon's life. Team Rocket is one of the few villainous groups in the Pokemon universe to have killed someone. Marowak, Team Rocket's single known victim, died while attempting to protect Cubone, its offspring, from Team Rocket's poaching effort. It's unclear who in Team Rocket was responsible for this, although it wasn't Jesse or James. Whew. Number 6. Jesse was inspired by the writer's girlfriend. Takeshi Shudo, the show's lead writer, drew inspiration from a range of sources when creating unique characters for the Pokémon anime. He went to his own love life for inspiration when it came to creating a prominent female opponent. Jesse was created by fusing the personality of a girl Shudo had loved in high school. Given that Jesse is frequently dominating and abusive towards her lover James, one has to wonder what Shudo's relationship with his ex was like. Number 5. Rocket is actually an acronym. According to the manga, the word Rocket is an abbreviation for Raid on the City Knock Out Evil Tusks. Usually an acronym tucked away in a name is quite cool and adds a wonderful layer of complexity. This isn't the case here though. Why? Because it makes no sense beyond the first three letters. It appears as if the manga threw it in there without giving it much thought. Number 4. They have got a goal, which all of us fans are aware of. All Team Rocket members had to take an oath which they were expected to follow during their time with the group. The oath wasn't long or complicated, and it got right to the point. Profit off the theft of Pokémon. Make money by exploiting Pokémon. All Pokémon exist for Team Rocket's glory. Aside from the fact that Giovanni's eventual objective was always to take over the globe, it pretty well sums up their goals. Number 3. Jesse and James got married in the manga. Jesse and James share a primarily platonic relationship in the anime. Sure, a lot of people like them, but they're never shown to be romantically involved. Things are different in the Pokemon Adventures manga. The two marry near the end of the series, and Jesse becomes pregnant. It's difficult to envision the traveling thieves marrying and building a family, but it has happened. Number 2. Team Rocket has a founder, and it's not Giovanni. While Giovanni is the most well-known leader, he is not the organization's founder. Madam Boss, his mother, has that distinction. Unlike her son, she disliked Pokémon, viewing them solely as a source of revenue. Only Mew and Mew 2, the two Pokémon she thought would allow her to dominate the world, were exempt from this rule. Number 1. The team has an in-charge, and it's Giovanni. 
Team Rocket has a leader, and it's not Jesse or James, it's Giovanni. Giovanni is the only one who's ever been in a film and has used a legendary Pokemon in a gym battle. He rarely shows up and prefers delegating most of his duties to his minions, the trio of Jesse, James, and Meowth. Well, that's all, folks. There goes our list of facts about Team Rocket.